guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I have Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Toyota GR86, courtesy of Younger Toyota in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So today we're in this one because this is a very affordable and fun car from Toyota. A manual transmission is still available. We actually do have the manual transmission with us here today. So that is pretty cool. Also, the 86 is a pretty legendary name known as the Hachi Roku in Japan. So ultimately, in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the 86. First one being the base setup, starting at $28,400. Then there is the premium being the one we are in today, starting at $32,500. And lastly, the 10th anniversary special edition going for $34,360. And by the way, that 10th anniversary edition, only 860 units will be available, which is kind of funny seeing as it's called the 86 and 860 units. Yeah, good job, Toyota. Anyways, powering the little beast is a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated horizontally opposed four cylinder boxer engine if that sounds familiar yes that is a Subaru setup putting out 228 horsepower at 7,000 rpm 184 pound-feet of torque coming in at 3700 rpm that power being sent to the rear wheels through a six-speed manual for the base and the 10th anniversary edition it is optional for the premium or a six-speed automatic that comes standard on the premium with paddle shifters by the way if you went with that six-speed automatic zero to 60 time approximately 6.1 seconds top speed 140 miles per hour it's pretty impressive considering the size of this thing with them PG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 27 on the highway for the manual, 21 city, 31 on the highway for the automatic, but taking premium unleaded fuel. But so then before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our 86, I did want to mention to you guys, there is one driving mode. It is a track driving mode. That button is located. It's a silver button located directly behind the shifter. So you do have that. You simply just hold that down for a second or so, but ultimately that is going to adjust things like the gauge cluster. I'll show that to you guys in a little bit, but also the VDC system is dialed back a little bit as well so that's gonna help you out with a little extra fun but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put this acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 toyota gr86 here up to speed all right just pulling out to the highway let's just do this <laughs> it's quick dude that's actually really quick uh that's fun that is definitely a fun acceleration without a doubt. The manual transmission, it's okay. It's not as smooth as some other transmissions like the Integra Type S that I drove or something like that, but it's a little notchy, but it's still fun because it's a six speed manual. So I don't have any issues there. And again, this thing is pretty darn quick. I will say it is a very light car. So I guess it's to be expected, but anyways, to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 11.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.4 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes it comes in at approximately 104 feet which is dang good that is an extremely good braking number typically you find in sports sedans 100 teens and then 120s is pretty average so 104 feet that is dang good that is sports car good which is what this car is and it's an affordable one at that which is even better so as far as braking feel goes it's definitely on the firmer side of things it immediately brings you to a stop so absolutely no issues whatsoever when it comes to the braking on this thing touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars but also gr circuit tuned springs as well so that is pretty darn cool so ultimately as far as ride quality goes it's been fine. You do tend to hear a little bit more of the road, or you do tend to feel a little bit more of the road, I should say, in smaller cars like this. And that's certainly the case in the 86, but it's to be expected. So I personally don't have any issues there. As far as steering feel goes, it's beautiful. I love the steering feel in the GR86. They did a wonderful job with that. 100% weighted on the heavier side of things. There's no dead spots or anything like that. Instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. I don't think they could have done the steering feel any better. It's honestly one of my favorite steering feels that I've probably ever tested in my past seven or 800 drives. So brilliant job with that. But as far as cabin noise goes, it's noisy in here. You guys could probably tell on my camera if you've watched my past reviews, there's a lot of road and wind noise coming into the cabin. A lot of exhaust noise. Not that I mind that one, 
but the cabin noise is kind of pronounced. I will say that. But anyways, touching of visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. So definitely not going to have any issues there either. This is a small vehicle after all. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's still go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Toyota GR86. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Toyota GR86 finished in Torino Blue. Cool name. I think you guys probably know that reference if you're a fan of the 86. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter J, indicating that the 86 is built and assembled in Japan. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Projector style LED headlights do come standard for all trim levels across the board. They do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Adaptive front lighting system, though, coming with the premium and the 10th anniversary edition. So when you're going around a bend at night, those headlights are actually going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend. So less likely to hit a deer or an animal or something like that. So I do love that. But also with those two trims, the auto leveling feature for the headlights as well. And with the premium trim only, you will find automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so very convenient feature for there my my wife absolutely loves that one on our own car but black front grille with the gr logo you guys can see that down in the corner there kind of upper corner i guess you could say but also front air curtains to the sides they're helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination but overall extremely good looking front end of the 86 i love the look of this thing but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now let's see around to the side of this one. This side profile is just simply perfect. Black window surrounds do come standard. Gloss black side mirrors, they are power adjustable. They are heated then as well. So absolutely love that. Functional front fender vents. And actually, let me get up a little bit closer so I can show this to you guys. It's actually, you got the GR lettering found in the upper portion of that as well. And then of course, the functionality is right behind that. So a little better aerodynamics because of that. I like that. As far as the wheel setup goes, 17 inch machine finished alloys is going to come on the base setup, but the premium and 10th anniversary editions are gonna give you 18 inch matte black alloys. That of course is what you guys are looking at right now. But again, the side profile is nothing short of perfect on the 86. I love this look, but that pretty much rounds out the side. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now let's see our around to the back of this one. All the way to the top, you do find that body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, you kind of got that duck bill rear spoiler. It is going to be body colored for the premium trim level, but you will find a matte black rear spoiler for the 10th anniversary edition and then no rear spoiler for the base setup. So I do want to mention that LED taillights, you guys can see they do come standard on every trim level across the board. Of course, you got that GR86 badging found in the bottom corner along with the like the video badging as well as subscribe to the channel i've been doing this for almost nine years guys reviewing new cars whenever i get a chance so feel free to hit the subscribe button if you are into new car reviews but down below it all you guys will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips for the base and the premium trim levels and then dark black tips of course they're going to be dark if they're black duh i shouldn't have said it that way but anyways for the 10th anniversary edition but having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. Alright, so now since you are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob, that's that kind of bottom button there, but there is a rubberized button on the trunk itself then as well. But once opened up, cargo space comes in at 6.26 cubic feet, so not a ton, but those rear seats do fold down though for some extra space though if you did need that. But there is, uh, of course, some cargo lighting back there. If you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a little bit of in-floor storage and a tire inflator kit back there. But then make our way up to the rear legroom, that comes in at 29. 9.9 inches which gotta be honest is like nothing that's like a ford mustang rear leg room right there and this is a smaller car so it's as to be expected so for reference i'll give this a shot i'm an even six feet tall this is me having no space back there but Anyways, then make your way up to the front seats. Manually adjustable cloth seating does come standard. There's gonna be a leather suede combo for the premium and 10th anniversary editions. That's what we have today, I love it. Then there is gonna be heated front seats for the premium and 10th anniversary edition trim levels as well. So 
also very nice there. Overall, the seats definitely hold you in place well. They're definitely very sporty bucket seats. So the kind of side bolsters on this thing definitely hold you in place around the turn. So I absolutely love that. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is gonna be leather wrapped for all trim levels across the board. Also like the GR lettering found at the very bottom portion of that steering wheel. So no issues there for me. Then make our way to the startup. But let me start by showing you guys the key here. This is definitely a Subaru key with a Toyota logo on it for sure. Lock on the top, unlock button is going to be the Toyota logo and then the uh, button to pop the rear trunk, of course. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and clutch and press that GR start stop button located just to the left of the climate control information there. So once started up, there is going to be a seven inch digital gauge cluster that does come standard. Of course, there are steering wheel mounted controls. You can adjust what is up there if you wanted to. And of course, if you were to hold down that track mode, that is going to completely change the look of the gauges up there. Kind of reminds me of the gauge readout on the old Honda S2000, just the, the RPMs up to 9,000 RPM. So I think that looks dang good actually. So no issues for me. But so then make your way to overall interior quality. You're gonna find dual zoom climate control actually does come standard for all trim levels. So both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures. You're gonna find aluminum sport pedals for the premium and 10th anniversary editions. I loved seeing that. But overall, everything is pretty much on the basic side. But one thing I do love is that that the suede leather combination is brought throughout the rest of the vehicle as well, especially the doors. You're gonna find a lot of that suede on the doors. You're also gonna find it just above the uh, the digital gauge cluster as well. So I like that they continued that suede feel throughout. I like the leather shift boot as well, leather shift knob. I do wanna also mention that there is kind of a center armrest. It's kind of uh, padded for your elbow. So I like that they did that, but there's also two cup holders within that center armrest though, if you did have some drinks because there is nothing surrounding the shifter, because obviously that would get in the way of actually shifting with a manual transmission if the cup holders were there. So they put them back here. There's some charging ports there as well, but overall everything's laid out pretty nicely. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen here. You're gonna find an eight inch color touchscreen display coming standard for all trim levels, Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, of course, but it's also going to display some maintenance information. If you're curious about that, there's outside temperature, of course, time of the day and your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. You're gonna find six speakers on that base configuration, but an eight speaker sound system with an amplifier on the premium and 10th anniversary edition. So having said that, we do have the eight speaker sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. It's okay. Like the clarity was really, really good. I will say that the clarity was fine. Not a ton of bass. Uh, I don't know, I wish it had a little more bass. That's all I'm saying. Honestly though, eight speakers in a vehicle the size of the 86 is 100% perfectly fine. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, of course, is when you do put the 86 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start with the most surprising thing, at least for me, is the 86 actually is an IIHS top safety pick plus which is crazy because it's such a small vehicle. Who would have thought? But that's the very highest designation, by the way, that you can get with IIHS. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. There's a driver's knee airbag up front as well. Of course, you got latch in the back, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, tire pressure monitoring system. But the premium trim level is going to give you a bunch of advanced safety that is not had on the other trim levels. And that's with the six speed automatic, by the way. So gives you blind spot detection, adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking system, pre-collision throttle management, late departure warning and sway warning, rear parking sensors, and reverse automatic braking then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the 86, I'm just gonna start by saying, I think the braking was the highlight for me. The braking on this thing is absolutely insane. No, 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 I take that back. Braking was good. The steering feel, that is the best part of the 86. The steering feel and the handling are remarkable on the 86. Probably the best I've tested, like I said, in quite a while. So I absolutely love that. This is a very affordable drift car. Why do I say drift car? Because it's rear wheel drive and it's got the handbrake. So yes, you could throw this thing around a little bit if you wanted to. Very good looking car as well. As far as room for improvement goes, I just wish Toyota would put their own six speed manual in this thing as opposed to Subarus because Every time I drive a six-speed manual on Subaru, it I get used to it. It just takes me so long to get used to, and you probably will get used to this quite honestly, but 
it is so much notchier than most other manual transmissions out there. Toyota manual transmissions, they're great. Honda, perfection. Acura, of course, is also a Honda, so that's perfection as well. So, I don't know. I just wish they did their own six-speed manual on this thing. I could tell it's Subarus, because basically the whole setup of this car is a Subaru. But anyways, overall, this thing was an absolute blast to drive. Let me know what you guys think of the 86 in the comments section below. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.